In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria know the number of hours in a day and weeks in a year, be able to name and sequence them. You can locate the questions on the mathmath.com website under Entry 2. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first question. Lucy has five weeks of holidays in the year. She will work for all the other weeks in the year. Lucy says she will work for 43 weeks in the year. Is Lucy correct? Show why you think this. So in a year, there are 52 weeks in total. This is something you should know by heart. If we take away the five weeks of holiday, then we can find out how many weeks she works for. So we're taking away five from the two, which means we've got to borrow one from the five. So the five becomes four and the two becomes 12. 12 take away five gives us seven. Four take away nothing gives us four. So this tells us that Lucy is not correct. And you can say no. You could also go 43 add 5. That gives us 48. And in a year there are not 48 weeks, there are 52. So either this or that, whichever you prefer to use, would be absolutely fine. How many weeks are there in one year? There are 52 weeks in one year. How many hours are there in a day? In a day, there are 24 hours. Again, that's another thing you need to know by heart. We now move into the calculator questions. The shop is closed for four weeks each year. How many weeks is it open for each year? So there are 52 weeks in a year. If we take away four, should give us how many the shop is open for. So 52 take away 4 gives us 48. The tomatoes start to grow a day after they are planted. How many hours are in a day? So in a day there are 24 hours as we said earlier. Again, another question, which is practically the same. How many hours are there in one day? 24 hours. And this is the end of the questions. So two things to remember for this. There are 24 hours in a day and 52 weeks in a year.